I'm Chrissy, the Scottish Magpie. I am here in uh, Bonnie Dundee. We are up early this morning. It is um, 7.30 and we are on our way to the car boot sale. This is my first car boot sale of the year. Um, they started up, I think, two weeks ago. Um, so it's going to get dark. Um, just a quick inch up and then I'll start. <laughs> um, so yeah, they started up a few weeks ago um, and I have not been yet at all. So, um, just going to get up and running. So we'll see how we get on today. It's on my own today. Um, I left the hubby and the boys cosy in the house. We usually will go out to the car to eat about maybe at 9.30 So I usually miss a lot of this stuff, but I don't mind. I always find something. Um, but no, it's just me today. So we have, I have two car boot sales that I go to. This one that I'm heading to now, um, it's open mostly all here. Um, I, there's another one though in Fife that is my favourite uh, car boot sale and that is open um, from, I think spring it opens up. So that's me getting onto the fast roads now. So I will go just now and see when we get there. Hi, I'm back. Um, I wasn't able to take any footage in there, but that was really fun. Um, I did find a huge amount. It was fun. It was fun seeing people. So that there is a folding cake stand. Quite, quite vintage, sorry. Anyway, yeah, so that's a folding kickstand. Um, 60s, 70s, mid century, I would say. Mid century to 70s. Uh, I got that for a fiver. Um, I got this uh, Chinese plant stand. It's really nice. It's very dirty. It's got a chip there and a wee chip there, but I only got, I got that for two pounds. Um, I got this Action Man camera for a pound. He's a doll. I'll put that with the other Action Man thing I've got. Um, what else? I'll be able to show you properly back at home. I got this really nice. It's very it's old Chinese plate, but it's broken at the side. But they only wanted a pound for it, and I can't say no to old Chinese. But anyway. I'll show you properly when I get home and I'll research it so um, I have something to actually say about each piece because I'm not 100% um, on the age and this. Oh, and I'll quickly show you this. It's milk glass but it's hand painted. Isn't that unique? Oh, that got a tiny chip but it's not it's really, really shallow. Like, you could probably colour that in. But anyway, so yes, and I think we've got a necklace. I don't know where to put it. It's just a pearl, a long pearl flapper necklace. Um, but I will uh, do a haul. Um, so it's Sunday today, and I'll probably do another, like, little thrift tomorrow, and I'll do a haul with everything together, because it wasn't a huge amount. Okay. Okay, so I have to do a voiceover on this bit because um, I got a copyright thing. Um, I didn't even know that, that could happen when I, I'm such a, I've got such a low amount of um, subscribers. Anyway, so I'm just looking through it all. There's actually nothing much I see here. I do like this and I do see I might come back for that. Um, a, I actually kind of forgot about it and B, it's not got that much of a wow pattern um this candlestick was interesting it's made in the usa it was copper and i'm pretty sure it was quite a good piece but it was light as a feather um it wasn't a genuine antique or really that that vintage it was a reproduction but it was a nice piece i'm um, just checking um a butter dish there um oh, it's just a silver plated bowl no a great age to it um, and then there hi 
so it's Monday and we are off thrifting. I just went into the cancer research there. I tried to take a little bit of footage but I got so busy and there's no, they're right up to you. They're, they don't, no one cares here. So it's, um, it was impossible to get my phone out. So I managed to get that red thing if you can just see it over my shoulder. That's like an old school um, classroom chair. I think it would be for like the nursery or the P1s, you know, the younger kids. But that's straight from my day, early 80s. And they were old in the 80s, probably, definitely mid-century. It's being painted bright red it's within an inch of his life. But um, yeah, that'll be a good one to sell. People love these ones and it's small. So it does for the doll collectors, teddy collectors, things like that. So now I'm off to Bernardo's, which is just up the road from Cancer Research, so hopefully find something in there. If it's not too busy, I'll try and put the camera on just to see what it will like. Um, but yeah, so just the one thing from, from that shop. So when I get done here, I'll um, do a full thrift back in the house, like a haul, thrift haul, sorry. Um, back at home. So, um, but I'll still, I might get footage here, so we'll wait and see, okay? So that's where I got the bag of soft toys for a fiver. It's like toy sacks, five pound each. Oh no, they have more soft toys. I can't, I can't do it to my husband. I want to be married tomorrow. Absolutely nothing in there at all. I could have uh, could have got another bag of teddy bears, but <laughs> I won't. I wouldn't do that to you, Liam. I promise. <laughs> okay, so I don't know whether to go somewhere else or just call it a day. I've got loads to do at home, and I'm starving. So I think I'll just go home and uh, start the jobs that I've got to do in the house. Then I can just do a wee thrift of what my chair and yesterday's stuff that we got from uh, carpet sale. Okay, bye. Hi there, so we're back home and I'm going to go over my thrift haul with y'all. Um, so we'll go back to Sunday because um, we're now on Tuesday. So I started this video Sunday and I went to the carpet sale and I said this in the video that this is Chinese. It's not Chinese, it's Japanese. It's Japanese Amari, which I should have known. I have more Amari online at the moment. Um, <coughs> sorry. I believe this is possibly Kangzi. Um, period. Obviously you can see the chip, the chip, the good old brake, um, which has been repaired. Uh, and as I said, I got this for, was it a pound or... Two pound at the very most, but I think it was a pound. Um, so I think I might put this on with the other Amari vase that I have, um, and see how they do together for a collector. So I wouldn't have paid more than a pound or two pound for the vase as well. So I think for the two of them together, 25 30 pounds uh, would be a good aim. Um, so another thing that I already showed you was this Chinese ceramic elephant it would be um a plant stand is what they're kind of being because you get bigger ones in their garden seats but this one i think with it being smaller um uh, is a plant stand so we have a small chipper rooney there and a smaller one there um got this for two pounds and i think I could get 25 even with the chips. Okay. 
Um, so this I didn't show, I told you about it though, this is a very long, it's like a flapper, it's genuine pearls, it's like the peacock. I don't think it's got the luster of Tahitian, but I may be wrong. So, um, one pound and um, 25. 25 to 30. And sorry, hang on. I need to try and reach down for it. Okay, so I showed this as well. This is Victorian milk glass, which has been hand painted, which was quite common in those days. What I loved about this is the form. It's such a unique form. Um, you know, with the with the round bottom and then this bulbous vase on top. So this had a small chip there, it's still got the chip, but it has been partially repaired, as in coloured in. I found a perfect match of paint. So um obviously you just be honest with your with your buyers. Just tell them this has a small chip to the rim, it's been partially repaired. Um with a colour match. Just be honest, this is more likely to sell with a partial repair and a colour match than it is with a white chip there. So as long as you're honest, tell them that you've done a partial repair, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the next one is, this was just pound fifty, and it's the, like a slanted art glass bowl. I'm not quite sure what is in that. Oh, jeez, oh, it nearly fell on my head. But yeah, it's like um, petals, but it's, I don't know, it's like paint. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but it's a lovely pink glass. So I thought it was worth 15. This I got for 50p. I always pick up Danoon mugs. Um, I will generally pick them up as the year goes on bundle up a couple together. They do well, 16, 18 pound for a couple of Danone mugs. You get more for the more collectible ones. This is a Christmas one. So I will probably still, I think I have another Danone mug actually, but it's not Christmas. Not that it matters. I just sold the Christmas Starbucks mug yesterday that we got for the 10 pound Skint Flint thrift haul. And that was a Christmas mug and I sold it. So. Okay, so um, 50p, once I get one, another Christmas dinner or similar, I'll maybe sell the two of them for 15, 16. Um, sorry, Tilly, I need to get you off here. Look, she's not getting I have my cat. Oh, there you go, she's in my cake stand. So this is what I got for a fiver. And it is a lovely cake stand that is foldable. So again, this had um, some issues there, um, a bit of the um, oh, rattan, I mean uh, wicker, whatever you would call it, um, it came off and it was kind of unraveling so I pinched off, like I broke off what was not repairable and I've glued down everything else so you can see it's kind of wrapped around so you've got a bit of a gap there and a bit of a gap there um, I can't remember if there was another one a few more bits needed um, glued down but nothing else had really broken off um, there was a bit that I broke off there and then glued the rest down so again just put it in your listing take close photos of where you've had to make a small repair where there's been um, you know, a flaw and you've glued it down to give it a, um, a partial repair. So yeah, so this was originally on for £6.50 but even as I said, oh how much is this because I actually didn't see that there was a tag on it, I was playing with the bit that was coming off up here, I was like, oh, how much is this? And I'm playing with this. So, oh, it's 6 50 but I'll give it to you for a fiver. So I don't know if that's a good <laughs> tactic to just subtly play with what's wrong with it. You might get another pound or two off. <clears throat> so that was um, a fiver. 
the last cake stand like that on eBay sold for 65 and that was only a month or two ago. That was in the last um, 90 days of listings. So that was 65 it sold for, I think, I think we'll go for 50, 55 for that. And then the last one I got yesterday, I went on a, just a small mini thrifting. Um, I went to just a few charity shops yesterday, and but I couldn't really find anything apart from this old small school chair. We got it for five pounds. Um, see, you know it's been at an auction because this is what they do at the auctions. <laughs> I'll wash that off. But uh, for five pounds, we will put this on for thirty. And happy to take an offer um so yeah all these prices don't include their shippings um and shipping well i generally try and do a little bit more than what the shipping costs because ebay take 20 percent um but sometimes i will just end up taking a bit of a hit on the shipping because i don't want to overcharge um someone else and they don't really know that i have to pay for shipping i don't want them to think i'm making a profit um because you don't make profit on shipping <laughs> that's something i never get right <laughs> okay so um i hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit of a mismatch um but it's just been the last few days of my work and i will upload again soon okay bye